What's up guys, Patrick here. Got a little uh, showcase for something I built in Minecraft out of redstone. Just finished it not too long ago, so I wanted to uh, put up a video just to show you guys what it's all about. Uh, just to let you guys know before uh, before I start doing this showcase, there's going to be a lot of links in the description. Um, I took a lot of little pieces from different people. They've got you know tutorials on how to make all this stuff in their videos. So I'm just going to link you to all their videos for everything I've used to uh, to make what I'm about to show you. So uh, let's go take a look at that. As you can see here, it says it's a four-digit combo lock and door. So uh, let's let's go over there and check it out. And here we are. This is uh, here. This is the whole build right here. This is everything. It looks it looks pretty big, but it's probably bigger than it needs to be, but you know, everything works, so I'm happy. Um, first thing to show off is this. This is like a four digit combo lock. Basically you have to line up the correct four digits and then uh, check the code to open our vault doors over here. So this four digit combo lock was originally made by CMB Minecraft and FE Disco. So there's going to be a link to um, to that video in the description, they also have a link in their video to a download of a, of a world, it's a void map with this in it. Um, I didn't make any changes really to the redstone, I just, all I did was I replaced the, the glowstone with these half slabs. Um, otherwise it works the exact same way and I, I prettied it up a little bit with a little bit of border and all that. But basically how it works is you just, uh, you hit these levers here and uh, using piston tapes it rotates the numbers here and because there is a um, this down here is a uh, it's a pulse multiplier it takes um, well when you hit the lever it turns on this clock here and it multiplies the pulse here into three ticks so no matter how long you keep the lever on or even if you used a button it's gonna pulse the piston tape three times so that they line up correctly every time and uh, they're tileable so each one of these works the exact same way and so once you line up the correct combination you check the code so let's let's do that right now my combination is 1042 so we're, it's gonna take a while and it does stop pretty much right where you want it to so that's this always nice there's the one um, it's a little bit laggy right now because of the recording Oh, shoot, I overshot it. Yeah, it's a little bit laggy right now because of the recording, but, you know, it gets there. Um, like I said, this is the, the 5x5 vault door, which we will be opening that here in a second. All right, and then four. And then two. So let's see here. So even if you get the combination correct, you still have to, uh, you still have to check the code. So that, 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 prevents, um, that prevents an issue with the lock in something else I'm going to show you in a little bit. So here we're going to, 1042, we're going to check the code. And now our, our three 5x5 five five vault doors, which these were made by Deco the Redstoner. Um, that was the design I used. Um, a uh, link to that video will be in the description. So all three of these open up. A um, little bit of delay between each one, which is fun. Um, and then here I have this. This locks the uh, the doors open, so that even if I were to uh, change the code here, you know, no longer the right code, the the doors stay open. And that's uh, that's for the next mechanic, which I've done over here, which this is the uh, scramble switch. So basically, if I hit this button here, it will randomly uh, send a, uh, a pulse length to each one of the piston tapes, which will, I mean, it scrambles the, uh, it scrambles the digits. That was a really short one, so we'll, we'll hit it again. But it will, um, it will rotate each one of these one to eight times. And so that, that should effectively scramble, uh, scramble the combination um, the reason why I added the, the check code is if for some reason if you scramble it a couple times and it lands on the correct combination the door doesn't just automatically open up you still have to check the code 
I suppose everyone could just like check the code on every combination, but at least it, you know, it's a little bit of uh, safety. Um, as far as the scrambling goes, that's this whole mechanism over here is probably a lot bigger than it needs to be, and I'm sure there's a way to make it smaller, but this is the way I used. Um, these right here are randomizers. Uh, basically, these hopper, uh, these droppers will shoot either a minecart or a redstone randomly into this hopper, and depending on which one hits here, um, it will give off a different pulse length. If it's the minecart, it gives off a, a larger pulse length of two, which would set off, you know, this side. And then if it's just the redstone, it'll only set off a pulse length of one, which will be uh, this side. And so by using these, we have the, the center one actually here, and it goes out either that way or that way. And this one goes that way or that way. And it splits them into eight different, uh, eight different, um, possibilities. Each one of these has a different number, oh sorry, each one of these has a different number of items. This is a pulse lengthener. Um, I forget who made this. I will definitely have a link in the description to who made whoever made it, but it's it's really it's really nice. Basically depending on the amount of items that you have in this first hopper, when you send a signal into this it will lengthen the pulse and I think it's about 0.4 seconds for every item. So I worked out how many items we'd need um, for each length to turn it, you know, one time, two times, three times, etc., all the way to eight times, which would be 14, uh, 14 items will turn each one uh, eight times. And then I just, uh, I could have done this with MC Edit, but I did it by hand. So I just have four layers here, and then each layer goes out this way, that way, and this way. See, the bottom layer is connected to the last digit, second to bottom is connected to the third digit, so on. So basically it'll send a different pulse length, and the longer the pulse length, the more this will rotate. So in in essence, when you push this button, it will send uh, a different size pulse length to each one of these tumblers, which will rotate at a random amount of time because the, the generators over there are random, which will effectively scramble the lock. Again, it's probably a lot more work than it's worth, but, you know, it's fun. Now, as far as this goes over here, to close the door, we just have this lever right here. This will close the door. Now, the thing is, I originally built this with the intention of using it on, like, an anti-griefing SMP map, you know, as an entrance to my secret base or whatever. So the idea here is it's actually locked from the inside at the moment. If I were to go back over here and input the correct code of 1042 and check the code, the door won't actually open, and that's because of this middle switch here, which is keeping this powered. So it's actually locked from the inside, so anyone else couldn't get in, which is the idea. It's only supposed to be me entering into, uh, into my base anyways. So it, you know... Even if someone does have the code, they shouldn't be allowed in anyways. So it won't open until I, uh, I unlock the door here on my way out. And then on my way out, I just have to hit this uh, lever again. And it gives me, you know, about five, six seconds before the final door closes to, to walk out there, which is plenty of time. You, know, you can just walk through that. It's not an issue. And then, uh, so that's effectively locked, and th that's about it, really. Um, unfortunately, like I said, this w I made this with the intention of using on an SMP map, but after finishing everything, I've realized that uh, it's it's probably going to be a bit laggy on most servers, especially with you know all the other um, block generation. Like this is on a completely flat map, so. I mean, it's not as laggy, but there's still some lag, especially when you hit the scramble switch and you're turning all four dials at, uh, at one time. So the lag is probably an issue. Um, one of the other issues is just the sheer amount of resources that went into it. I mean, if I cut out the scrambler, then it would definitely be much more plausible. But to make it exactly like this, the amount of redstone and iron and other materials involved would just be... It's, it's not probable for SMP use, so really my whole um, my whole like lock from the inside thing, it doesn't 
serve much of a purpose since it's not ever gonna be uh, or it probably will never be used in an S&P setting but this was the idea I had and uh, I was able to complete it um, like I said, links in the description to um, all the different uh, redstone devices, which would be the um, these 5x5 vault doors with the lamps, which are really cool. Um, the 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 four digit, although you know it can be as many digits as you want. Um, tumbler lock from CMB Minecraft and Fe Disco, and then um, our pulse lengthener from whoever I will figure out for you guys, and then these. Um, these randomizers which were in uh, these were made by Seth Bling and uh, that's it guys so um, I will talk to you guys next time